Hey, what's poppin', man? You already know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J Hill, uh, Conversation Series. You know I do this thing special, man. Um, dope conversations with even doper people. Um, for all you English majors and shit, I mean, that might not be like properly said in a sentence, but stick to school. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Uh, dope individual, Nas B in the building. What's up, dog? Uh, actually, from Moco. We actually in Moco right now. Um, you know, it's funny because I just got familiar with you, but uh, the one of the dopest things that that stuck that caught my attention was the yeah. fact that like you represent Moco so heavy. Mm -hmm. And I think like we've been in here setting up for like like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. And like I, like you definitely like emphasize the importance of Moco, right? Yeah. Like cuz we slept on. Why you think that? It's just like the way it is out here, you feel what I'm saying? People love that treacherous look and it's not too treacherous out here, you okay. feel what I'm saying? Okay. So, that's what sells in the industry. Mm -hmm. but that don't mean it ain't real niggas out here. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Because it's bitch niggas everywhere. It's real niggas everywhere. So the fact that it ain't too gutter mm -hmm. means it's just overlooking. Nah, he ain't, he ain't he lying about what he talking about. He ain't been through nothing. Right. He He's good. You feel what I'm saying? So that's like the misconception with the overall look of MoCo. So that's why we snuffed on. Damn, it's crazy, man, because it's like... Percep they say like your perception is your reality, right? Like it's, just, it's crazy because like I can definitely see that, yeah. and I'm like I'm thinking Baltimore is slept on because the shit is too much. Like yeah. it's like it's too ghetto. Like nobody yeah. want to come there. Like you shit. What I'm saying that's but um right. but hearing that right um I think we are older now and I feel like we do understand like it's fake niggas everywhere and it's real niggas everywhere. Yeah. But I feel like me being ignorant, I know the entire like DMV hoods and news in like PG County probably yeah show me for this. But I ain't scared of nobody, so I, I just say what, it's, what I feel. Coming from Baltimore, that's how I thought Pete, like the whole side, anything outside of like Baltimore, yeah. I thought was that anyway. It was weak for real. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's just my ignorance. I ain't know no better. But clearly it's not, mm -hmm. right? So we can't just hold that to one side. We can't just say MoCo is weak because it looks nice. Because honestly, like, when I go to PG County, that shit look nice as fuck yeah. too. Like, yeah. I mean, if you ask me, yeah. it's, it's hoods. It's some nice ass places in Baltimore, right? But when exactly you, too, you're right. You get what I'm saying? Like it's some nice ass places in Baltimore. You probably wouldn't even know you're in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. But like, why do you think that matters so much in the industry? Like when it comes to being treacherous and being a real nigga? Because I mean, being well, a real nigga to me. Depending ain't really. on your market, the whole treacherous thing doesn't always matter. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that's what's easiest to pop. You feel what I'm saying? A hundred niggas, a hundred guns. Like Chief, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. He blew up off of that. Mm -hmm. So it was like it's like appealing to the eye. You mm. feel what I'm saying? When niggas feel like, like, if for example, you got people who come from great homes mm. trying to do that. So it's like, if you got people that don't have to do it, doing it, that's how you know it's like, damn, like, that shit must work. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because right. people that don't got to do it are trying to do it, not being themselves, but just willing to do whatever it takes to make it. Right. So I feel like it's just appealing to the eye and people just, just be on that. I think that kind of fucks up the fucking, um, like, the dynamic of, like, you know, like, kids growing up. And not to get too serious and shit, but, like, you know, we grown now. So yeah. I just feel like a lot of times people be trying to put on this fake image and they, they doing things that they don't need to do. When it's like, bro, you got somebody from a whole nother place that's really going through that shit. You perpetuating a fake persona when it's somebody that's mm -hmm. going through that that's trying to come out of it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, like, you trying to put yourself back into this and it's like... I don't know. Like, how, do you think that's uh, that has a, a negative impact on the culture? Because I feel like that it, eventually it, it, changes to the culture. It, it does, and it definitely has a negative impact on places like this too, mm. because people automatically look at you like a fake nigga. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. People, what they do out here, they do too much. Okay. Me, I always just kept it myself. I like, like that. I always just wrap my reality. And I like if that. that wasn't too street, then it wasn't too street. If it was. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's where like that negative impact come in where it's like, y'all doing too much, right? Y'all making us look bad. I get you it. You feel what I'm saying? Cause don't no real nigga is gonna respect that. Like I link with Savage, right? And he from that. He really come from the, the bottom, you feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The no savage. That I was right? talking about. Yeah, no yeah. savage. And when we clicked, like when we linked up, we clicked. Right. And he was telling me it's because like I don't be doing too much. Like he really gravitated towards that. But if I would have came in there on some Super gangster shit. He probably would have been like, man, this nigga's bluffing. I could tell. Right. You feel what I'm saying? But just me keeping it real, 
built helped our relationship and now we really locked and I can call him he can call me nah it's like, like you're that. definitely genuine though like you ain't, you ain't trying to be nobody you're not exactly. and I think a lot of artists and not even just artists you're talking about like your audience right because you're an artist and you you want to gain a, a, a a big crowd and a big audience, right? Yeah. I feel like we've seen that happen. We can't just ignore it. Yeah, we say the gangster mentality, the gangster persona sells, but also the genuine and just being yourself persona sells. We look at sell too. You look at that artists like J. Cole. Too. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. it's working. You look like yeah, yeah. he ain't happen. pushing this. It can happen and people don't believe that. Mm. It take longer though. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And people don't want to go through that work. But my brand is real deal individual, R E I. Mm. Real is the first word. You know what I'm saying? So I got to live by my truth. Real deal individual. It's like I'm myself. I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm unique in who I am. And that's what I'm going to go by. I, I, I like the fact that you say like the RDI, right? Real deal mm -hmm. individual. Because that's being comfortable in your own skin is yeah, it's the, big. It's it's, real big. It's the epitome of authenticity, right? Like that's that's exactly, exactly. what a, exactly. a real person is. Exactly. Let's talk about um just your journey on to your journey up to where you at now, right? Like you started making music. How was it, man? Like how, what are some of the things that you that you had to go through and persevere through coming from Moco? Shit, yeah, I'll take you back to the beginning. Uh me and my homeboys was making music. Like mm -hmm. really my brother Toby, Toby Tevez, he was making music and I was kind of like his fake manager. I was him, mm. bro. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I was him for. Well, I don't think he a fake manager because he didn't mean. Nah, I was Toad's fake manager, oh. but yeah, he not my fake manager no more. I was a, I I give him his respect. Like, come on, right? <laughs> you say I was a fake manager. Nah, you play them like, nah, man, this ain't fake. Man. This shit look good to me. <laughs> you doing a good job at faking it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I was a fake version of him. But, like, at that time, it was because I knew how to rap and I was rapping, but mm -hmm. I was also hooping. Okay. And like it was like my hoop my, dreams. Yeah, I had real hoop dreams, and my mom was in my ear. I come from an African household, so she wants you to be not, a doctor. Yeah, you, you cannot be. Go, you go, be. Ball, you <laughs> go, go to school, be engineer, and that's it. You feel me? That whole rap thing is like what? That's, I'm sorry, that's out of nowhere. Where, where, where you from originally? From Ghana. Okay, yeah. all right, but yeah, I'm, I'm listening. So, and then and then I go to school, right? And when I'm in, I went to Blake High School. When I'm in school, it's like. If I put out a song, it's too much attention. It's like, nigga, you are you playing basketball or are you rapping? Like, mm. which one? And then make up your mind. Type exactly. Shit. And then my coaches be on my wood. You feel what I'm saying? It's it's a whole bunch of noise. And pause that too. I caught that. Yeah, pause. pause my pause, bad. Pause that. I got you. And I, it was too much noise, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. And I'm like, man, this. Let me just hoop. Okay. Because that's what's gonna make everybody else happy. You feel what I'm saying? I wasn't really going with what I wanted to do. I'm like, let me just hoop. I'm gonna just manage toe. Whatever you need, I got him. And then I go through high school. I end up going to ACC to go hoop. And then I play two years over there. And then the whole time I'm over there, I'm like, man, this is not what I want to do. Mm. I know I want to make music. I know I want to rap. It's time to just break out your shell and do what you want to do. Okay. So I knew I wasn't about to go to the four-year school. So I just hit him up. I'm like, yo, I'm about to rap. He's like, yes. <laughs> this nigga got a geek because he knew. Okay. Like, he knew my work ethic. He knew I, my talent, and I was already kind of known. So it wasn't gonna be like too hard to build a buzz, at least where I'm at. Okay. You feel me? So I graduated from the two year, and then I just put my foot on the gas. Like the same work ethic I was using with the hoop and shit, I just transferred it over to the rap, and then I just started going. I knew what to do. Like I knew when I first started, I gotta shoot videos with people who are doing their thing already. You know, mm -hmm. videographers. Yep. I know I have to flood them. I know I have to keep on dropping. That way they like, damn, this nigga going hard. Okay, I knew the music had to be good. I knew I had to, like, my first three months rapping, I I paid for uh, a Fillmore performance because I knew I had to get in their face. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? I'm just, whatever I got to do, I'm going to just do it to make sure they know I t I'm taking this shit serious. I'm glad you, you spoke on that, right? Because, um... Again, we was having a long conversation. I felt like we could have recorded the yeah. behind the scenes right. uh, footage and got the interview like that. But you was, uh, I was saying like I heard a rapper from Moco, right? And mm -hmm. um, I know y'all was joking, but I was like, y'all was like, it was nasty. You know what I'm saying? It was nasty. B. I'm like, yeah. might have been him. <laughs> you feel me? So yeah. like, of course we all we all want to think that like, or we all believe that we the best, et cetera, et cetera. But aside aside that, you even said yourself like you was already a little popular, at yeah. least from where you was at. Yeah. What was the one of the main things that you did that got you the most attention? Like, what was the thing that got people that really knew who, who you was? I feel like I was even if it was before. It was. I, I would say 
I don't know what bro said. I, 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 oh, you talking about? Okay, I thought you were talking about like how I was. Either doing, one. How, it could be before or after the music. Be, before or after. Before so let's say music, I would say mainly just like being that young fly nigga hooping. You okay. Feel what I'm saying I'm outside. With I mean, you as African, I, they be saying Africans be scamming. Shit, we can have a lot of money. Nah, and I, was, shit. I wasn't scamming at that time. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, bro. we ain't never scam. You ain't never scam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how that's, that's how media what niggas be getting y'all fucked that's up. That's you know what I'm good at this. I was I was never scared. I'm good at this shit. <laughs> he said he said the coaches is on my wood. They ain't say pause. And then he said, <laughs> and then he said was, well, before I started scamming. Like, nah, I ain't say before. I now you ain't gonna lie. You fucking around. You fucking around with Bob. You fucking around with Lit. <laughs> yes, that's what it look like you shooting for. <laughs> Like, nah, bro. But so, yeah, so he was a fly nigga, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was just known like just being out here, and I was hooping. Like, I wasn't that hooper that was just solely hooping. I was like, he was outside. You feel what I'm saying? But I was hooping. You feel outside. what I'm saying? Exactly. Got you. So, so what? During a career, what was that? Career, I feel like. Well, first I had this one song called Money Bag that was ringing around here, mm. and that's when it was like, okay, people started paying attention, and then. I, I dropped a few mixtapes. Like I was really building a core fan base out here. I was I would start going outside and niggas is recognizing me like, yo, Nas, what's good? Like, I'm like, damn, okay, let me just keep going. And then I started investing into my shit, which was the features. Mm. I do I link with set, I link with Q the Fool first. Then I link with no sab. It was really all around the same time. Then mm. I, you seen that video? Nah, that's it. well, nah. I think uh Cav sent me that video. Yeah, that I think joined, yeah. That joined almost at like four hundred K. So that's when like niggas like damn that's going crazy like you can't if you in moco you ain't you can't say you ain't heard of me mm-hmm. after that move you feel what i'm saying that was really just me investing in my shit and ever since then it's just like keep doing what you've been doing which is consistency hard work and just do more of the big features mm-hmm. invest i'm about to go bust down my neck you yeah what I'm saying? just to have them like Okay, this nigga taking it serious. He doing his thing. It's I'm crazy. Doing, doing my thing. Niggas gotta get the bust down just to show niggas that we that's, doing. We that's doing the game, it real. That's, that's the, the game, game, though. That's the game, bro. I mean, shit. See, we on camera. See, a nigga like me, I'm gonna get the bust down, but I'm gonna get my money back. But we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smart nigga. I'm gonna get my shit back. Like, and you gonna on. keep the bust down, but get your money back? Okay, you. Gotta they ain't gonna me. know that. You gotta tell me off camera. Which you don't know. Oh damn. I don't know. Fuck it, but whatever. Yeah. Um, that's for another time. But uh, so now we. Have, how does that feel, bro? I because I feel like a lot of niggas, even if they get hot outside of their city, everybody want love in their perspective city where they from, their neighborhood. How does that feel? Niggas know they can't go nowhere in Moco, and I don't know about Nasby. Like, how does that feel in that moment? Or do you even think about it? Feel it feel good, you know. But it also come with a lot, like a lot of shit that I thought I was prepared for. But really, it's like, damn, this shit, like. Everybody from around already know me. Mm-hmm. That has its pros and cons. Like what? Like you a target. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? They gonna try to come get what you got mm-hmm. just because they know you. Well, I'm the one that took down Nas. You feel what I'm saying? But then it feel good because it's like, damn, my work is paying off. Mm-hmm. I am going where I want to go. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a good feeling. But I'm nowhere near. Like I'm not like. <clears throat> I'm not feeling good. You feel what I'm saying at all. I, I'm. It's so much more to do. All I want because s- you didn't need really f- too familiar with me. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? A nigga like you. But I'm that could not, be my fault though. I mean, I I, mean, I always look at it like. Nah, I look it at got, it. It got to be like. Nah, I look at it like I'm that nigga regardless. That you feel me? Man, yeah. I look at it like I'm that nigga. So if you don't know about me, you ain't doing your job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, that's. A, you know what I'm saying? Like and if you carry it like that. Real recognized, real on all, all all across the board. It don't have to be on no hood shit. A lot of niggas yeah. be talking about like real nigga shit, and I don't think there's no such thing as real nigga shit. It's just man time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you don't man time or you not. You know what I'm exactly. saying? I feel like we, we equate that with hood shit when it's not really that case. You know what right. I'm saying? So like, if you even if you was even say like, nah, I'm that nigga. You just ain't you just ain't know about me. You ain't do your job. I ain't never gonna be mad because I feel yeah. like I feel the same way. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like that's uh-huh. just real nigga shit. You feel yeah, me? I just I just feel like my reality. I get your point fully, but. I ain't done enough. Yet. I feel you. No, I, I said you. that. I, I said it on my Twitter. Like, I ain't even do shit yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, speaking of that, you have done something, right? Like, mm-hmm. in, in the reality of it, you have done yeah, something. Yeah, my girl be telling me like, you be hard on yourself, but you have done a lot more than most Moco rappers. And I wanted to talk and about I be that. Having to remind myself that specifically, do you do you feel like you dumbed down your celebrity? 
Because we can't act like... I definitely do. I ain't going to lie. Mm. Like, everybody around me tell me that. That's how I know I do. You got to be careful with that, though. Exactly. Because that's how niggas... We, we, we think we... Yo, I'm still from the neighborhood. I can go... Like, nah, niggas be hating. You know that, though. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you like, got... Yeah, you're right. My bad. Nah, you good. You good. But there be times where, like, I do step into that celebrity mindset. Like, I'll give you an example. I can't say no names, but my engineer was in here the other night, and he said, so-and-so was in here. And when he said that, it was like, man, I didn't already work with people bigger than that person, and... I'm not about to run over to the studio and, yo, I'm the SB. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not on that no more. Nah, facts. It's just, I think it's a, it's a, it's a good balance because a lot yeah. of times we, we miss opportunities because we, I don't want to say we get big at it, but we don't we don't remember the basics, right? So like yeah, a building, like, a good we need that foundation, yeah. right? Like the, the reason we lit is because of the work we put into it, right? The moment we, t- we take away from that work because we think we somewhere that we're not, that's when we lose our our opportunities, right? Yeah. And you know, like they say, success is when opportunity meets uh, preparation. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's like, yeah, right. we can't, we always gotta have those opportunities to be open for it. But um, I definitely fuck with it, bro. I fuck with the energy. Uh, it's definitely yeah. real. And like me being in this conversation, it don't even feel like an interview because like, yeah. it's just some real shit. Sure. Um, what you got coming up and what you got going, what you got going on next? Right now, I'm like working on my mixtape that I'm about to drop July 4th. Mm-hmm. Damn, they just got the info. They just got the drop. But fuck, fuck it. it. July 4th. I ain't Exclusive. Got we here. But, that's what I'm on right now. My Karen Man 95 Productions. He mm-hmm. always with me. We've been just documenting everything right now. You feel what I'm saying? He's doing a vlog right now as we interview exactly. him. Exactly. Getting BTS. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Just content, content, content building up for when I drop. People Super tell important. me, like, you be doing real good with marketing. So I'm just trying to keep that up. Boss B's with me. He stay on me. You feel what I'm saying? So just working on the tape, preparing everything for the tape. And about to drop that fire on their ass. Nah, man. Um, definitely, bro. Uh, let niggas f- tell, tell niggas where to follow you at. We are in Double M Studios. Matter of fact, let me get that. We are in Double M Studios. It's my studio. Co-owner. You feel what I'm saying? I'm man, Boss Bees. He always want me to let niggas know, like, nigga, you a owner. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you a rapper, but you a businessman, too. So, this was built from zero. Mm-hmm. This was a basement. You feel what I'm saying? It was none of this. This is like... Investment. I mean, it's still a basement, but. It's still... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking it's a studio. like. I'm I got talking, you. I'm when not I say basement, bro, I'm talking bro bed is right there. There was, there, was, there, was, like, there was a desk right here that nobody, like, that I was on that nothing was useful in this joint. I My feel, bad, bro. Nah, I fuck with bro, you. Bro, live in here. <laughs> nah, I fuck with you. Like, like, so it, was a, it, it was a basement. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically. Well, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, like, just investing, investing. Having a vision and doing whatever it takes to make the vision come true. No, That's sure. what this is. And we book, you feel what I'm saying? It started with like... Niggas getting mm, money. You feel you know what, what I'm saying? saying? I got you. Exactly. Tell it's, me about this real quick before we get out of here. I wanted to, That's why I said hold your Instagram because yeah. I see this. This is dope as fuck. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, matter Shout of fact, can we, get, um, can we get some... Uh, yeah, we're going to... Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, like, tell me about this real quick. Oh, mm. man. My man, Young Juice, he's a great artist, as you can see. When we first... I, I thought about black wall, and when we do a black wall, I want like paintings on it. So, of course, you feel what I'm saying? We all look up to Nip. Nip is like his mogul, you feel what I'm saying? Everything is just real. Big. It's another it's favorite big. artist. Yeah. It's big. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And Fat Trap, he recently passed away. This was, bro, this was my, like his artist, but Damn. like my So he from around like, here? Yeah, yeah, he from around here. And he's a GOAT. I'm talking like. I wish it's it's crazy losing bro just because he's a real nigga, real good friend in person, mm-hmm. but his talent was O D. And I'm gonna leave it at that. And yeah, man, this is just the hot wall of fame, I call it. Wall of nah, fame. Fire. I love it. I, I ain't gonna lie, like at the first of course we come in here and we're like, no, nah, we gotta get that. We see the yeah. fire, we're like, what's some fire? But it's like yeah. fuck that, we need this right here. Yeah. But nah, man, you can look in this camera, man, and tell everybody where to follow you man, at and everything. N A S T Capital B underscore. That's Instagram, Twitter. Follow me. It's so much coming. I'm coming with that shit. Stay tuned. Already, man. Uh, Mr. J Hill, you already know, man. Conversation series. I appreciate you coming. Nah, uh, already, man. I, I fuck with. It. I love. I like it out here, man. I had to like, make a couple more trips, man. Fuck yeah. with you. you know what I'm saying, man. I had to give me some host a song or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I got yeah. a couple tastes. I'm playing. I got a couple tastes. I do. I got like three. Not mine, but yeah. like hosted a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. J Hill, uh, conversation series. Uh, Nasby. Yo. 
Dope. Uh, say the studio one more time. Double M Studio. Double M Studios. That's a wrap, man. We out.